Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about burn rate, specifically how to calculate it, what it is, and why it's important. Now this metric is specifically used for startups or small businesses that have received funding from venture capitalists or angel investors or just investors in general. And the burn rate is essentially the rate at which a startup or a company spends its investors money before that company generates positive cash flow. And this metric is typically referred to, or when people are talking about the burn rate, they're generally referring to a burn rate in terms of months. So it's basically the amount of money a company is spending each month before it starts generating profits of its own. And honestly, it's a pretty simple calculation overall. Basically, you're gonna take your beginning investment amount and subtract that from your remaining investment amount and then you'll divide that by the number of months since that investment or since you started spending that money. So let's say that we have a startup and we sell a product, right? And say we were able to secure $2 million from a venture capitalist firm. And let's say after two months, we have 1.5 million of that left. So we would take the 1 million, subtract 1,500,000 to get 500,000. We would then divide that by the number of months or two months and we would get a burn rate of $250,000 per month. Now keep in mind that the more months that you have been spending this money, the more accurate your burn rate is gonna be. So two months of spending money for a company generally isn't a long amount of time to calculate an accurate burn rate, but if you only have two months spending money, then that's what your burn rate is gonna be. But typically you're gonna to wanna to look for at least four months, between four and eight months, you'll get a much more accurate burn rate calculation. And so now that we know the burn rate, we can then calculate something called the runaway. And that's basically how much time the company has until it runs out of money. So you would essentially take the $2 million and divide it by the burn rate that we just calculated of 250,000, which would then get our runaway to be eight months. If we're spending $250,000 every month, we're gonna run out of money in about eight months. Now, honestly, this is a pretty simple calculation. You know, it doesn't require an advanced math degree to calculate by any means, but it is a calculation that's useful for the startup itself as well as the investors in the business. Because a startup is gonna wanna know how much money they're spending so they can strategically plan how they spend their money. They can realize where they need to cut money or increase funds to get their product rolling to get sales themselves to then generate positive cash flow. It'll help them understand if they need more time, thus seeking further funding before they actually run out of money. Because getting funding for a company can take time, and if you've run out of money, you're not just gonna wanna sit there for a couple months and delay all that progress you'd already made. So that's the simple overview of the burn rate and the runaway. Now with the burn rate, there's something called the gross burn rate as well as the net burn rate. And let's talk about those and how you can calculate them. So the gross burn rate is basically all your operating costs. And operating expenses are generally things like rent, utilities, maintenance, depreciation, and so on. So let's say, for example, and this is kind of a new example, that we rent a warehouse space for our product to store inventory and also doubles as an office space. So let's say that's $10,000 of rent every month. So we know for a fact that that's gonna be $10,000 a month regardless of our R&D or how much product we create or whatever. And let's say that monthly we're spending $25,000 in salary and wages across the whole startup for all the employees. So our total gross burn would be the 10,000 plus the 25,000 to get us a gross burn rate of $35,000. Now, what if you're already producing revenue? You're already selling products and making sales in the company. That's where the net burn rate comes into play. And that basically just takes revenue and cost of goods sold into account. So essentially to calculate this, you're gonna wanna take your gross burn rate you're gonna to wanna to subtract any revenue you've had, but then add any cost of goods sold or COGS that you may have. So for example, let's say we're selling a product. Let's say you know we have that $35,000 gross burn rate. Let's say that in revenue we have $30,000 a month. And then 
in cost of goods sold, let's say that's $5,000 a month. So what we would do is we'd take the 35,000, subtract the 30,000 in revenue, and then add the 5,000 in cost of goods sold, which would then get us a net burn rate of $10,000. And that's how you calculate that. So overall, this metric is just a quick, useful tool for helping startups or investors to be more strategic, understand where their money's going, and kind of track it a little bit more closely so they can make adjustments to get more funding or to cut expenses to increase the runaway or decrease the burn rate. It just helps everyone involved know where the money's going, if it's being spent wisely or not. It's just a quick, easy metric for investors or startups to understand. And there you have it. That's how you would calculate the burn rate, the runaway, the gross burn rate, as well as the net burn rate. Hopefully this was informative. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. But before you go, please make sure you're smashing that like button and you're subscribing for more content. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.